Bringing citizen science into schools can be a challenge, but it can also have some great advantages. We spoke to project leaders around Australia to find out more. My name is Kira Keneally, and today I'm going to be presenting to you lessons from citizen science project leaders about how we can best support the use of citizen science in education. This research was done as part of the Learning by Doing project, which aims to design, implement, and assess citizen science learning programs for primary and secondary students to engage them in science, enhance their experiences, and improve learning outcomes. And this research was part of the co-creation phase where we're working with citizen science project leaders and other stakeholders to find out what they want from citizen science projects in schools. This research aimed to understand the implementation of citizen science in schools across Australia and the benefits, challenges and outcomes from citizen science project leaders. Um, so today I'm going to be presenting to you the outcomes and the challenges. So these outcomes and challenges were identified through focus groups with 17 citizen science project leaders representing all of the states in Australia. We had representation from uh, lots of different diverse range of citizen science projects, but some of the common ones are uh, represented biodiversity and conservation and marine science. Uh, these, pro these focus groups were analyzed using inductive thematic analysis where themes were pulled out from the text as we read it. Um, and the themes identified that we're gonna talk about today are the advantages and the challenges. So starting off with the advantages for students, Learning is the big one. Um, lots of projects go in to promote learning. So we'd hope that learning is um, an advantage for students. Students seem to learn lots. Um, it's not limited to subject matter or anything like that. Similarly, um, skill development is the next one. Uh, students develop skills in not just STEM, but also creative thinking and communication. Similarly, we also have meaningful experience where students participate in this experience. It's really different. It's a real life experience and they feel like they can create change and it's really powerful for their learning. Um, additionally, excitement. Students are excited about this. They're going outside. They're doing something different and new. So it's also a great advantage for their learning. Awareness is another advantage for students where they gain a greater awareness about the world around them and science um, or even more specifically nature or biodiversity or something like that. And finally, future in science is another great advantage for students. They get to get involved with science and scientists and careers and experience all of those great things. So there's all these amazing advantages for students, but there's also a lot of challenges in bringing this into schools. So the challenges sit in either they're project-based or school-based or both. So today I'm going to start by discussing conflicting goals, which is where the science and the education goals of a project aren't aligned. Um, and this often results in problems with things like, say, data quality. Similarly, we also have another challenge, curriculum alignment, where teachers only want to work on projects that are curriculum aligned and citizen science project leaders need resources and experience to align their projects with the curriculum. Another challenge for both projects and schools is time, where we found that Citizen science project leaders reported that teachers were really, really busy. So that's a big one. Um, and another big one is that citizen science project leaders are also busy um, and they need time to develop their programs and run them. Unfamiliarity was the next theme. Um, project leaders said they were unfamiliar with what teachers wanted and what schools were like and how that all worked out. And similarly, schools and teachers more in general um, were reportedly unfamiliar with citizen science and what it actually was. And the final theme I'm going to discuss today is student safety, which is that um, there's a challenge within schools to use citizen science programs due to online safety risks and also uh, physical safety. So there's all these challenges, but I'm going to start looking at some of the solutions that the citizen science project leaders propose. Um, and work on a framework for those three advantages, challenges and solutions. Um, there's also going to be analysis done of the additional themes of motivation and evaluation. And this is all going to go towards the development of the Learning by Doing School programs. Um, and I'd just like to acknowledge the Learning by Doing team, which you can see up here. Also the project leaders who participated in this research and thank you all for listening as well. If you'd like to get in touch, our contact details are on the slide. 